this is the Pilton leather gloves, and they were for uh, weddings and evenings. And every length you'd done over the size of a glove, you had two old pence for every so ordinary glove like that. If ordinary gloves fitting there. This is longer, so you'd get two pence more. <laughs> um, there's a lot of work into it, really. There's a f the four jets. These are the four jets. That's the little finger bits. And the thumb. There's a little thumb bit there and the thumb that you make here. You've got to stitch the thumb around and then turn it. Have the glove like that and turn it, the thumb like that, that way. And then it was just round on the, on the machine. <laughs> Yeah, I'd done leather and this material. Yeah. Dense, a uh, brosser, brosser gloves it was. Yeah. And these little fingers here, that's where you stitch round and there's little material up there and you'd cut that off and cut that little slit across there. Because that little slit had to be stitched as well. Because that was the finger finger joint there, you see. Yeah. And then you make them all like that, the wrong way, wrong. And then you get your little stick, and then turn them inside. You put your little <coughs> stick like that. I don't know if I can do it. These are a bit rusty. Put them up like that. So them two sticks go into one? Go up. Oh my lord. See how they open up? Yeah. And that would show any any stitching, or if your machine was wrong, you had to alter the tension on your machine to stop your machine slipping. But then you, you when you had us children, you worked at home? Yeah, I worked you? at home then. Uh, yeah, you had the I machine. had the little machine at home. And uh, I worked like I would if I was in the factory. And I can remember Richard was sitting at school. Like machine with Richard all the would bits. start at school <laughs> at five, my son, but Yvette was home, you see, crawling about with a fluff and one thing to another. <laughs> and then uh, I'd work as soon as I could when they'd gone to school with the son and try to work all the morning and then stop and get food for them in the evening meal. And then I'd do a little bit in the afternoon, about two hours. But if you didn't, you, you wouldn't get through, you wouldn't get through what work you were sent to do, you know. I can remember the machine in our dine, sort of dining room, sitting room area. And um, yeah, it was just looked massive and it had the um, iron, let you quite the iron legs with all the like the fancy pattern, wouldn't it? The side, the and the, iron. You know, you put your foot on the treadle, yeah, don't you? Yeah, and I can remember yeah. sitting and um, playing with all the bits that used to fall off. And uh, yeah, I made her a little teddy bear with <laughs> all the bits of the fingers and the four jets here, and I yeah, couldn't stitch it together. Got the arms and legs because there's machine I was on was the one that the foot and the foot came out and your gloves went along that way because it was a round cog on the machine like in the, the girls worked down at uh, Torrington we had the same machines and we had flat machines as well that went along and I can remember the chap coming every week to pick yeah, up pick the, up the gloves you know yeah. and bring me more <laughs>